Hello and welcome back to another pretty HD video. Today we have got another game of the week. It is Tottenham Hotspur versus Chelsea and it is the New Year's Day game. Of course because game of the weeks are uploaded on the day previously to the actual game itself it is currently New Year's Eve. I just want to say it's been a smacking smashing awesome 2015 and especially since fifa 15's come out my channel has exploded well to me what's exploded anyway i mean um to you guys if you've got like thousands of subscribers then to me to them to you you're not i've not exploded but i certainly in my opinion have exploded so i'm incredibly happy with my current progression and how i'm currently getting on so um, what's going on in my whole uh, Game of the Week world? Well, currently, like I said, we've got Tottenham Chelsea. It is a London derby, and it is first versus seventh as well. So Ch Chelsea did end 2014 in first position, in pole position. It's the first game of 2015, of course, as well. Uh, so it is good, good start to 2015. And, well, they would like to start, as they mean to go on both teams here, with a victory, if all could be possible. Chelsea have won 25 Premier League matches against Spurs. Only Manchester United, with 29 wins, have a better record. And of course, we've got the FIFA simulation, which currently stands Tottenham 1, Chelsea 0. Unbelievably there. Um, and what else have we got going on? Well, if I'm honest, you'll see how, if you have checked out my 2015 update video which i'd say what happens in 2015 and my thank you for 2014 then you'll understand what's ready for the channel coming up on the next year and i also give my appreciation as well because of course it's very difficult to give appreciation in such a uh, extravagant circumstances in every single video so i just gave a little bit of appreciation this time around after winning 2-0 on his first two trips to tottenham chelsea manager jose Mourinho is read out the win in his last two visits to white tight lane tottenham they're only defeating eight league matches came against chelsea at stamford bridge itself the spurs have conceded five penalties in the league this season the most out of every team in the top flight including of course leicester burnley all of them relegation contending teams they, Tottenham Hotspur, have conceded the most penalties. Excluding penalties, Ericsson scored more Premier League goals than any other midfielder in 2014. So it's been a great 2014 for Ericsson. He's got 13 goals excluding penalties and um, he might have scored one, two, maybe even three, four penalties since he's been at Spurs. Now stats about Chelsea. Chelsea have lost just one of their last 13 Premier League away matches. They've won eight, drew four and lost one. I believe their loss was um, Newcastle, or was that not at Newcastle? Was it at Stamford Bridge? Not really sure. The Blues have won 10 league points from losing positions this season. The equal most with, guess who, just who was talking about, Newcastle United. Sorry if you just had the mic go mess then I accidentally hit it. But they have only lost one of their last 18 Premier League London derbies. They won 13, drew four, a 1-0 against Crystal Palace in March. So... Chelsea have conceded only four goals in London derbies in the league last season. Didier Drogba has scored four goals and assisted five more in his last nine league games against the Spurs. Cesc Fabregas has provided a high league as 13 assists this season, which is mental. He's top of the assist chart. He's got 13 assists already in the Premier League. It proves that he really is at home here, isn't he, in London? Maybe with a different London club to what was originally on his uh, marks. But, yeah, I mean, Chelsea, they seem to be fitting in well. Their style of play, etc., etc. And he seems to be doing a decent job there. Chelsea won every league game where they've scored two or more goals this season, but none of the five games when they've scored fewer than two. So, okay... What? Um, so if they've scored, if they score fewer than two goals, then they are either going to draw or lose, apparently. And currently in the game of the week world, they are 1 0 behind against Tottenham. So that is currently what's happening. Do you know the weird thing um, about that stat? What I was just on about with Fabregas. Fabregas is. He, I just can't actually believe that he's at Chelsea. He's exactly what they needed, isn't it? An absolutely world class midfielder. He just runs the midfield 
Uh, Matic just delivers to him. He delivers to the strikers. And he really is what Chelsea needed. That creative uh, midfielder that can do everything defensively, offensively. Of course, they've already got Oscar. And Oscar does work really hard, to be fair to the kid. But Matt Fabregas is a bit more physical. And he is a bit more of a central player to um to Hazard and Willian sort of thing. Matic is, of course, a very physical player. But I think they needed just that one more player in the middle to really stabilise the midfield, especially since Lampard went. So, Fabregas, he's just a perfect fit here at Chelsea. And it is New Year's Eve, of course. So, um, currently, on my 12 days of Christmas, I am advancing very quickly. It's been a week since it started. Would you believe it? I believe this should be video 12, but don't... Or is it video 14? In fact, it might be video 14, not 12. I'm just trying to think. I'm clicking, so if you can hear the clicks, then I am. Sorry about that, but I am clicking on my computer. Uh, yes, it is video 14, unbelievably. Tomorrow, we've got more FIFA 15 content coming your way. We've got New Year... We've got... We start the new year, of course, with a double upload, as usual, since it is 12 days of Christmas, and I really, really am liking how it's turning out so far as well. So, it's it's really, really doing well at the moment, 12 days of Christmas, and I can't thank you enough for your appreciation, because it is difficult to bloody do double uploads every day for 12 days, and, well, let's be honest, as uh, is, is currently my holiday, um, you would want a bit of a break, but no break for me, I'm fully working, but I suppose it's what I love doing best, so I don't really mind working, playing FIFA, I know it's not technically a job for me at the moment, but uh, I, don't, I don't really want it to ever to become, well, not a job as such, I still want it to be a hobby, I may earn money from it one day, I don't currently, I could currently, I just haven't signed up to full partnership yet, of course I've got customised thumbnails and all that, etc, but I'm sort of going off the basis of Game of the Week, um, considering it's uh, January, of course tomorrow, and when this game starts, the transfer window would have started, so let's, if we look at the current transfers, then Fernando Torres has permanently moved to AC Milan. He moved on the 27th of December. Elia has also gone to West Ham on loan. Who else have we got? Um, here we've got MacLeod, Rangers to Brentford for around 1 million. Around is a very broad term, I suppose. That's the current transfers ready to join. But let's see what's going on here. City leading in the race to sign 20 million Boney. Oh, Bonnie. The thing is, Bonnie's going away with Cote d'Ivoire to the Africa Cup of Nations. So, if he goes away, then by the time that he comes back, won't Jovetic and uh, Jovetic and Aguero already be fit? Well, I'm not sure how lengthy their injuries are, but surely that is a bit of bad sense from Man City. I think Bonnie would be wasted in Man City. I think he really, really should stay at Swansea. City will face competition for Boney's signature, however, from Chelsea, who are also interested in the Ivory Coast International. Wenger has identified central midfield as the area he will look to strengthen in. And what? What is wrong with the guy? He is appalling at the moment, isn't he? I mean, maybe not appalling, but maybe that's not the right word. He's not like he's an appalling manager, but Jesus Christ, get a centre back! It is not that difficult. Get a bloody centre back. What else is going on? They want William Carvalho. Milan have told clubs Arsenal and Liverpool that striker Stephen Al Shawawi, 22 years of age, will cost 11.5 million. That's not that excessive, is it, to be honest? It's quite cheap. It's whether Al Shawawi would keep up his potential when at them clubs, though. For some reason, Everton are weighing up a short term uh, move for Wigan goalkeeper Ali Al Habsi. Oh no, what are these Roberto... Oh. Ali Al Habsi. Uh, it's not like Ali Al Habsi is that bad, but he's now 33 years of age. He's not exactly the world class keeper or Premier League keeper. Roberto Martinez has basically bought relegated Wigan, Alcaraz, Kone, Ali Al Habsi. What is he doing? Either way, I do like watching. If you didn't enjoy it, you smash the like button. On the BBC Sport website, they've got more gossip. I'm not advertising it. I'm not being paid to advertise it. They probably don't even know who I am, so don't even say any of that stuff. Oh, it's just a really, really good website for all the transfer gossip, and it is normally reliable. Sorry, I'll see you tomorrow for 2015 and the start of it. I really hope you enjoy your night. 
make sure you stay up late, watch a movie or whatever, watch the last movie of 2014 or the first movie of 2015, and for me in England, it's, uh, it, it, it's pretty much the end of 2014, pretty much very, very soon, so I will see you next time.